Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tension some different frames. Uh, we'll set them up in individual videos so that you can uh, watch them separately. The first frame we're going to do is the clip frame, which is the easiest one to do and the quickest one. It is ideal for doing uh, short runs um, up to maybe 50 different t-shirts, something like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be t-shirts, of course, it can be any. You, as your film comes out of the machine, your master material comes out of the machine, you take your smooth side uh, and you put your smooth side down onto double sided tape. We've already taped up the frame with double sided tape and you just stretch this across on the one side first. I always do the side that's furthest away from me. You then pull this across the frame giving a little bit of tension and uh, sticking it down. You need to apply a little bit of pressure down the way to make sure that the uh, film is adhering to the tape. Uh, and then we just take the whole end and I run that one along. Once you've got either side done, you ensure that they're nice and uh, sticky. And then you go again, work in the middle and you do the ends. When you get to the corners at the end, you would lift it up and redo the ends. This makes it nice and neat uh, and gives a nice tension to the frame. Same thing, we go to this corner, start in the middle, stretch this one out. If there's the slightest bit of wrinkles still left in your frame, they will be taken up by the, um, the top sheet that goes down. You'll notice on the top sheet, there's a little recess here that when we put them together, we put the recess in and that stretches the film back into the frame. If you want to have a little bit stronger tension, we use some masking tape. This is picture framers tape. We sell it uh, to go along with the machine and you would just stick it along the top. What this does is it helps uh, two different things. It helps uh, add extra adhesion to the film, uh, so there's less likelihood of it moving as you work through your different uh, t-shirts. It also adds a little bit of thickness to the gap that the nylon mesh is uh, sitting in. Uh, because you add a little bit of thickness, it means when you put your clip on, it adds a little bit of extra tension to the clip. As you can see, I've kept it in the middle, um, it's not, it's not uh, too much. Um, if what we would then do is we would just uh, uh, fold it over and make it nice and tight. This masking tape on here also um, is ideal because if you're messy when you're adding any ink on, that keeps your frame nice and clean as well. So it's, it's kind of doing a lot of different uh, purposes. We take this down now and we clip these over. We put our two long sides on first. And what I also do is I nip the, the first one you, you do together and the bottom springs out. So you would nip the first one together, the bottom springs out. That allows you to get your clip on easier. Uh, and then the rest of them go. You always would start with a corner on your clip. So that now finishes up with quite a nice uh, tight screen, um, totally ideal for uh, printing away um, and cleaning up. If I was going to uh, now go to print, I would probably run another layer of tape just down here uh, to protect again your frame. So uh, you can move on now to uh, the other videos that will be online, uh, which will show the screw frame, which is ideal for 500, um, up to 500 uh, swipes, or the um, high tension frame, which is uh, will do even longer runs. Thanks very much just now. Cheers.